So I genuinely think the most harmful Christian belief is telling people that they're pieces of crap. Like seriously, that's basically the Christian doctrine is you are completely evil and there's nothing redeeming about you, but Jesus saved you anyway. And now through Jesus, you're worth something. And for a long time, I thought, wow, that's such a sweet message. That's so nice and that's so cool and Jesus is amazing. But when you think about it, think of the freaking damage that does to people. Like if from basically the age you can understand English and you're in church, you're told that you're a piece of shit and you're just internalizing that week after week after week. Maybe you're even getting it on some Bible studies. Maybe you're getting it reading the Bible. Maybe you're getting it at youth group. Maybe you're getting it at another service if you're going to like two services a week or Sunday school or just all these different places, Christian songs. All of that is just like hammering over and over and f***ing over that you are a piece of shit and you are not worthy of anything good. You deserve to burn for all eternity, but Jesus was nice enough to come down and save you. That's f***ed up, man. Like seriously, I cannot emphasize how f***ed up that is. Like think about like the damage, like damage that it does to me. Like I still, you know, I've been out of the church for a little while. You can check out my kind of my journey of deconstruction and leaving the church video uh, on my channel. But seriously, like I still, if I mess up, you know, my immediate thing is I'm a piece of shit and I'm worthless. I'm garbage. F me, you know, all those kinds of like self-talk things. And that all comes straight from the religious teaching other than like the swearing. But you know, that basically that idea, rather than coming from a place of, you know, either I'm neutral, I'm just, you know, am me and some things go well sometimes and sometimes they don't, or even like I'm fundamentally good. What a crazy concept that is for me. Like I'm fundamentally good, but I do this, 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 and this, you know, still that laundry list of sins. And, you know, the truth is nobody is perfect. Nobody's going to handle their life completely perfectly. We're all going to make mistakes, but that doesn't mean they're sins. And it doesn't mean that we're fundamentally wicked. And I genuinely think that most people are, you know, genuinely either neutral or good. Like I don't tend, you know, I've kind of, I'm still exploring what I actually think for sure, but I tend to think that more most people genuinely want to help and support other people and sometimes our ideas of what that looks like we butt heads on that i do think there are some people who are just way too far gone uh you know dictators xi jinping uh certainly vladimir putin obviously adolf hitler mao all those guys um kim jong-un you know all those people are really fucking bad dudes who are bad. Like, I mean, there's just no way around it. They're committing genocide. If you're killing hundreds of thousands of people, you're a bad person and, you know, end the story there. But most of us, most of us are not like that. Most of us just want what's best for our friends, our families, ourselves. And that's great. Even wanting what's best for yourself is a great healthy human behavior because then you won't end up hopefully in abusive relationships or all kinds of things. But with the church telling you you're a piece of shit all the time, that, that really creates two possible things. One, sometimes people start acting like pieces of shit because they feel like I'm a piece of shit. And so you start behaving like a piece of shit because of course you're a piece of shit. That's what you believe. And then there's also the people, which I fell more into this category of, you feel like a piece of shit every time you do something just a little bit out of line. Maybe you have a little argument with a friend or a family member, or you butt heads with somebody and you have an argument or, you know, whatever, whatever it might be, even like those little things, or maybe you just can't afford to give to a charity and they ask you and you're like, I can't do it. I'm sorry. And you feel like so guilty. Um, whatever those things might be, in your life that really aren't that big of a deal and they happen to everybody, everybody has conflict, but you just, you start freaking beating yourself over the fucking head and it sucks. It really sucks. And I've been there. I've freaking been there. I'm, I'm there a lot of days, honestly. 
and just like beating myself up so much of like, why am I not better at this? Why did I f that up? You know, in my job, I'm a videographer. You know, sometimes it's like, oh, I could have done so much better at this shot or that shot or, oh, the client wasn't happy. I'm such a f up. I'm such a dumb ass mother head, you know, stuff like that where I'd never talk to anybody else like that. Like I'd never fucking talk to anybody else like that, but I talked to myself that way. And a lot of that stems from, from basically like birth being told that we're evil, sinful, nasty human beings. So of course, and unlearning that is such an intensive process. Like I feel like I've, you know, been working on it for a couple of years and haven't really fully grasped it. I mean, part of it is I haven't totally like applied myself to it as much as maybe I want to. Things, you know, affirmations can be very powerful. Like I'm awesome. I'm fucking awesome. I am an amazing person. I am a kind hearted person. I really, really care about people. Just things like that. Whatever resonates with you, whatever kind of counters those really negative arguments, that's what's really going to kind of help you start reprogramming your mind. Also, sometimes an exercise that I really like to use that I learned over the last year is a more visual exercise that really plays with your neural pathways and helps you kind of reprogram things faster, more visually, more emotionally. And that's where you picture maybe you just have this feeling of, oh, I'm just like a piece of shit. And it's like really heavy. You like kind of close your eyes down. You feel, okay, I feel that in my chest. It's like really deep inside me. So you visualize, you know, kind of what that thing looks like. Maybe you pull it out of your chest and it's floating there. It's next to you. And then maybe you turn it black and white. Maybe you smash it. Maybe you throw it across the room. Maybe you put it in a frame, maybe put it in a box, maybe you really shrink it down and then you throw it and I always visualize, you know, like those, those devices that would like throw up a clay pot and then you'd shoot it, uh, kind of in the old time, like target practice. Um, I visualize something like that. And sometimes, you know, it's me, you know, shooting a laser out of my finger or firing a rocket or something. And then just like, it exploding over the ocean kind of thing. So it's like gone. And then that really helps you like reprogram that part of your brain emotionally, which is what's really affecting you versus cerebrally. I mean, cerebrally, you can be all day like, oh, I know I'm a good person, but like really getting into that mental emotional stuff is really, really powerful. And so I just wanted to share that. Let me know if you can relate to if you're either a current Christian or an ex-Christian, just like always feeling like a terrible piece of shit and having to really fight that, trying to reprogram that, trying to relearn that. So yeah, let me know, tell me your stories about that. I would absolutely love to hear and engage and I will talk to you very soon.